Hello everyone, and this is Minecraft Education with Kami. I'm going to show you how to log in and then do some simple basic controls in Minecraft Education. And so this screen should pop up. You'll get a sign-in page, and we will provide this sign-in information for you. So for instance, um, my sign-in information is going to look like this. Uh, you will receive an NMSU email. It'll look sort of like this. And um, keep in mind the beginning part before the at symbol is your username. You'll click next. It will take you to the NMSU sign-in page in which you put the username and then the password provided for you. Sign in. And then we should be good to go as far as signing in to Minecraft. Might take a few minutes. And here we go. If you want to take a couple minutes, you can choose an outfit for your character. I like this one because I look really cool. And then um, you can go ahead and then select that one, and uh, or whichever outfit you want. And then you will click play. So I will have a world hosted for you guys, in which case you will click join world and then type in the key that I give you. Since I'm on my computer, I'm going to be running a world, but this is where you will um, join the world and then put in the password I give you. If this doesn't seem to work, we can also have you join by the IP address, which I will provide for you if needed. Okay. So you will go to join world. In my case, I'm gonna go ahead and just um, create a new world. And then I want it to be flat for the purposes of showing you how to do things. And then I'll go ahead, uh, always day, perfect weather. All right, you don't have to worry about any of that. All right. Let's get started and go into the Minecraft world. Might take a moment to load. All right. So here I am in a Minecraft world. You know, pretty boring. There's some mob spawns every now and again because, you know, this is Minecraft. And so here are the basic controls. If you want to, you can go into settings and let's see. You should be able to display the keys. If not, you can um, look for what keys do in this menu. Let me see. Um, doo -doo -doo. There's all these different settings that you can toggle with for the best experience. Oh, I like to show the coordinates. And, okay. So I'll probably put up a little um, a little thing showing what the keys are, but essentially to move in the world, you use the W, A, S, D keys to move um, forward, left, and right accordingly. You destroy box uh, blocks by hitting the left hand mouse button, and then you can place blocks by hitting the right hand button. If you notice, I don't have any blocks in my inventory to place, so to access my inventory, I hit the E button. And since we're in creative mode, we have access to all these blocks, so I can just fill up this little hole I made with whatever um, I want to. And in creative mode, if you have a mouse, uh, you can middle mouse wheel click to get a block that exists in this world and um, fill in. Uh, it's typically used if you make mistakes or destroy something on accident. You, so say if I have like this block, I can middle mouse click it and it'll put it in my inventory. But that's okay. Like that's just a little neat trick. Okay, so I have blocks. You can build things with the right hand mouse button and destroy things with the left hand mouse button. And that's essentially all you need to know. Say you need to look for something specific, like say you want to put a little gate around your house, you can search for it um, and then drag it into your inventory below. And so if you notice, um, you need to select the block you want to put down 
and so it has to be in your inventory at the bottom of the screen. So if I place this down, I have to make sure that it is selected below. If you see where I'm scrolling, there's two ways you can um, navigate those. You can um, use your mouse wheel, or you can press the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 to access those inventories. So that is pretty nifty and you can build essentially whatever you want. But the point of this uh, CS Adventure Camp is we're gonna have a robot program some of these things for us. So after you learn the basics of moving and placing things in Minecraft, we are going to start or introduce you to our agent as they're called. So in order to get the agent, you need to get this agent egg. So in Minecraft, things spawn into the world by um, eggs. So I can spawn my little agent by right clicking and um, selecting the egg. So if I want him over here, I can just move him. Say I want him like on top of here, I can just right click that. Now he's up there and you can start him wherever you want to. And it's really cool because we're gonna learn how to program these guys throughout the camp. And so Let's show a little example of how we would get to pro or how we would go about programming him. In Minecraft Education, all you have to do is press C and it will pull up the code builder menu. And so to start off, you guys will actually see this screen and we're going to select Microsoft Make Code. Give it a second to load and you can create a new project. Give your project an awesome name. There we go, create the project. And now we have our coding environment in which our little dude can do stuff. So notice we have two options here. We can either start code as soon as we hit this button or have code run after you type the word run into chat. So let me show you how that works. I can go into the left hand side here and select agent and here are all the different blocks of code that he can do. So for instance, let's say I want him to move forward when I click the start button and then maybe um, move back and let's make this a little bit more noticeable by like three like three spaces um, when I hit the run command and so if you want these are actually little functions and then this is other um, calling other functions to say okay have the agent move when it does that and it takes care of all the little technic mechanics behind making the agent move and so if you notice this looks a lot like scratch so hopefully you guys will get the hang of it. All right, so I hit play. And notice, as soon as I hit play, it it ran the code that was in this start button, or in the start function. And so now, um, oh, I hit it again, and so it started it again. But how I make the code execute, that's uh, when I type run, I hit T to open up chat, and I type the word run and I can do this as many times as I want to oops um, because it will do whatever is in that code every time it um, sees the word run and so that can be super useful for when you're coding and you want him to um, not start the code right away but wait for you to um, do something in the code so say he was over here and then I want him to do that same command but I want him to start over here again so I can move him and then type run again and so that's the overall process for running code he of course has more superpowers than that and so preferably I actually don't like using the on start block because I don't like him doing things right when I hit play so you could go ahead and delete that if you'd like to and then you can just work this and uh, you don't have to use the word run. You could also do like do or something if it's shorter and I'll show you how that um, affects your code. And so say, oh, hello, little horsey. All right, say um, I want him to move of, or let's have him do something else completely. Let's have him place a block. So if you look in the code, there's the agent place feature and I'm gonna have him place forward. Perfect. And um, let's see what that does. So if you notice, all we have to do now is type do, and it will run that code. But he doesn't have any blocks. How do we solve this? 
you right click your agent and now you access his inventory. So let's put some blocks in the inventory. It's important you fill up the first slot first and I'll show you why in a second. And now if I type do, he will place a block in front of him. And if you type it again, notice it'll be error because there's already a block here. But let's move our agent and try running the code again. There you go. He keeps doing exactly what he was told to, told to do. He places a block and that is a good robot. Good boy. And notice since this is in creative mode, um, the blocks won't decrease. It'll just have infinite blocks. And so you can do this infinite amount of times. And so let's go ahead and look into the code and let's see some more stuff we can do. So I'm actually used to the word run, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it as the word run. But I just wanted to show you you could do this um, for anything. Or say uh, another example, say you want him to do two different things. So let's have him do something when I say go versus um, run. So when I hit run, I want him to place um, something forward. Let's say Let's make this a little bit more complex. So um, he'll place forward and then move to the right. Then he will place forward, move to the right. Hang on, let me scooch that down. There we go. So what I expect him to do is place a block forward, scooch to the right one, place a block forward, scooch to the right one. And that will happen when I type the word run. But when I type the word go, I want him to just move forward. And so um, if you're wondering how I'm making code appear, I click on this, I copy, click out of it, and click paste. All right, so let's have him move forward by like five. So when we say go, we want him to like go forward for a good amount of time. Let's go ahead and do that. Oops, didn't mean to throw that. All right, so let's put our agent over here. Let's type the word run and he places a few blocks, perfect. Now let's type the word go and he does the other bit of code. Good job, robot, I'm proud of you. Okay, so I press C to bring up the menu and this is where I edit my code. Pretty cool, right? And so you can have your robot do many things. Uh, the basics are having it place things, move, and um, Let's see, you can have him teleport to different places, you can have him till soil, attack mobs, um, or collect objects that he like destroys. Oh, destroy is a good one. I'll show you that one now. So let's have a new function. Let's say, let's call it destroy. And so um, we'll just say, when I say destroy, it'll destroy the block that's in front of him. So let's move our agent. Let's say we want to just destroy this block. So he has to be facing the right direction. Uh, let's see, there we go. He's facing forward. Let's type destroy and he destroys the block in front of him. So you can obviously make this um, coding more complex. So you can say destroy move um, to his right then destroy and it would destroy the whole structure. Or you could just place him and then type the same command over and over again. And that's the beauty about code is you can modify this exactly how you want. You can have him build a house. You can have him build um, a really cool structure, maybe like have him build like an Eiffel Tower or something. That could be fun. And so there is one last thing I want to show you is just how to make the robot place a line down. So there's different ways he can do this. So if I were the robot, I could have him place, move right, place, move right, place, move right. Um, and so on. Or another way to do it is he can actually kind of um, fly. So if he flies, he stays in place. So let's open up the chat again. And let's go ahead and I'll make a new function just so that way we have uh, functions that do all sorts of cool things. And let's say line. And we want this function to complete making a line. So he can move up by one and let's see what that looks like. So if I type line, he'll move up. And since he's up, he can place a block below him. So that's what I want to happen. Let's see, move up. And then I want him to place down. And essentially, I just want to 
copy this code a few times, this is where a loop would come in handy because you wouldn't have to copy and paste a bunch of code. There we go. So um, I have to modify this a bit. So we only want him to go up um, once if we want him to move forward. Of course, this would work if, um, or actually I'll show you. So what I coded now is it, he would do this. So he builds up. I want him to build out. So let's let's modify that code a little bit. All right. So now I want him to move up and then place down. Then move forward, place down, move forward, place down. Now let's see what happens. There we go. He builds a line. And obviously you can keep this going. That's where cool things called loops would come in handy and um, all sorts of other things. That is it for the introduction video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm really proud of my little robot and I can't wait to see what you all build. So have fun and enjoy Minecraft education. Bye.